11 hours of questioning, Sanjay Singh arrested, taken to the ED headquarters. Let's cut across right now, reporting outside uh, our ACE, uh, ED and uh, other agencies. Uh, uh, Munish Pandey, who covers the other agencies as well, joining us live in front of the ED headquarters, but joining us from Sanjay Singh's uh, residence, Anmol Bali. Any minute now, we are expecting the Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, to pay a visit to Sanjay Singh's parents, his wife. We are given to understand Arvind Kejriwal has already spoken to his wife, um, other leaders from the India Alliance also coming in. Manoj Jha from the RJD had come in to meet his father a short while ago. But before we cut across uh, to Anmol, Munish, to bring you in 11 hours of questioning ending with an arrest. The ED says it's very clear where the case stands. Sanjay Singh, as per the Enforcement Directorate, received kickbacks from uh, Mr. Arora, Dinesh Arora, who was first accused, now a prover. Well, Preeti, the searches lasted for more than 11 hours uh, at the residence of Sanjay Singh, after which uh, uh, he was arrested and now he has been brought into the ED headquarters where I am present and uh, tomorrow morning he will be taken before a court for further custody in this case. But as far as the allegations against uh, Sanjay Singh is concerned, remember, ED in its charge sheet which was filed in the month of December 2022 in that charge sheet, there were three allegations against Sanjay Singh. One was that Sanjay Singh, through Dinesh Arora, organized a fundraising program for Aam Aadmi Party. And there, Dinesh Arora met Mani Sisodia for the first time. The second allegation is that, uh, you know, uh, Dinesh Arora also uh, got his work done regarding the excise policy through Sanjay Singh. The third and the most important one is that there was a meeting between Arvind Kejriwal and Dinesh Arora, which was organized by Sanjay Singh, and Sanjay Singh was also part of that meeting. But why these things, these three things becomes extremely important? Because Dinesh Arora was a middleman in this entire excise policy scam case. He is someone who, according to the enforcement directorate, was named as an FIR in the case, but later he turned approver and he his confessional statement he told ED officials about Sanjay Singh. Later, some of the associates of Sanjay Singh were also searched by the ED. ED claims that they got certain evidence against Sanjay Singh. And today, when ED went to the residence of Sanjay Singh, 50% it was clear that Sanjay Singh will be arrested. But later, when they, go, when they went through certain digital evidence in the case through his uh, mobile phone, laptop, some more evidence were recovered according to the enforcement directorate, and this is why he has been arrested by the ED. But as far as money trail is concerned, and this is going to be very challenging even for the enforcement directorate because so far ED has not been able to produce any document that whether Sanjay Singh directly received any kickback or money from Dinesh Arora or any other person, whether the money was generated and went to the party directly, whether Sanjay Singh was aware of that particular transaction or not, that is still not clear. So it is going to be challenging for the enforcement directorate officials also. Sanjay Singh has time and again claimed that he is innocent, he has done nothing, but uh, ED heat is on him basically only because, uh, you know, he has been a vocal critic of this government and the enforcement directorate. But ED, at the very same time, they claim that his arrest is on the basis of evidence which they gathered during the probe of this case. Priti. Right. Manish, uh, there are two follow-up questions to this because uh, after the arrest of Sanjay Singh, the Aam Aadmi Party is right now making, other than the political point, is asking where is the money trail? Now, what does the ED say? You know, you yourself touched upon the fact that it will be a tough task for the ED to actually prove a money trail in this case. But what are the allegations as of now? To the tune of what? Uh, in terms of money was received by Sanjay Singh in kickbacks and can in, uh, a money trail be established at all? Well, Preeti, under Prevention of Money Laundering Act, if any person was directly involved in money laundering, then that person can be made accused in the case. But if any person 
who was part of the conspiracy of money laundering, that person can also be made accused in the case. Remember, in the case of Manish Sosodia also, ED was not able to produce any evidence that Manish Sosodia directly received any kickback. As of now, the ED claims that there was a 100 crore of transaction from South Group, uh, in which K. Kavita is also one of the suspects in the case, to Vijay Nair, who, is, who was Aam Admi Party's communication in charge. That is the only money trail which the ED has uh, so far talked about. But as far as money Sosodia is concerned, there was no direct transaction between any of the accused and money Sosodia. But still under Prevention of Money Laundering Act, True. he was made accused because he was made part of the conspiracy by the enforcement directorate and same allegations are being leveled against Sanjay Singh. So it doesn't matter whether Sanjay Singh has received right. any money or not, whether there is any money trail linking to Sanjay Singh or not, right. but ED claiming that he was part of the conspiracy, he can be booked under Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Right.